Hello, welcome to the Encouraging Word of today. Today is Tuesday, it is August the 6th, and we're going to pick up here in the wonderful and encouraging Word of God. And as we do, we're going to finish out 1 Corinthians chapter 10, picking up in verse 16. And remember that we have been talking about idols and things sacrificed to idols and how we're to live our lives um, not for the benefit of ourselves, but for the benefit of others. And he's going to He's going to kind of like summarize what we've been talking about going all the way through and uh, how we should, at every appearance of evil, flee. Uh, but he picks up here in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and says these words. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? And the bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? For we being many are one bread, and one body, for we are all partakers of that one bread. And so he says we are we should all be in this together for the benefit of one another, not for the benefit of ourselves. And sadly, that's the way most Christian um, life is lived. It's just for the benefit of me and not for others. Behold Israel, after the flesh, are not they which eat of the sacrifice of a taker of the altar? What shall I say then? That the idol is anything, or which is offered to in sacrifice to idols is anything. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils, and not to God. And I would not that you should have fellowship with the devils. You cannot drink of the cup of the Lord and the cup of the devils. And you cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of the devils. So he's saying... Listen, don't don't contradict yourself. If if you know that uh, what you're eating was sacrificed to a devil, even though it's free for you to eat, because you'll see here in just a minute, you shouldn't eat it because it's not beneficial. You know it's you know it belongs to the, that has been um, that has been sacrificed to uh, the 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 evil of this world, and you shouldn't prefer, you shouldn't uh, partake of it. Uh, at all costs. But notice what he says. Do do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than he? All things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but all things edify not. And so he says, if what you're doing does not edify you and it does not edify others, then you shouldn't do it. Period. End of story. Let no man seek his own, but every man another's wealth. He says, I'm trying to build up the spiritual uh, lives of those around me. That ought to be your plea, your call. Whatever is sold in the shambles, that eat, asking no questions for conscience sake. For the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. He says, it doesn't matter what they do with it at the end of the day. It belongs to God anyway. But if it's going to cause an offense, if it's going to cause you, for conscience sake, to uh, have to worry or struggle with it, then don't do it. It's just simple. If any of them that believe not bid you to a feast, or sorry, if any of them that believe not bid you to a feast, and ye be disposed to go, whatsoever is set before you, eat, asking no questions for conscience sake. But if any man say unto you, this is offered in a sacrifice unto idols, eat not for his sake that showed it, for conscience sake, for the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And so he says, he's just simply saying, listen, Help the non-believers to recognize that they ought not participate in things sacrificed to idols. Yeah, you could, but don't do it because it's not going to benefit them. And it's not actually going to benefit you either. It's not going to edify. Conscience, I say, not thine own, but of the other. For why is my liberty judged of another man's conscience? For if by grace, or for if I by grace be a partaker, why am I evil spoken of for that which I give thanks? Whether therefore you eat or drink, whatsoever you do, do it all to the glory of God. In other words, if it can bring God glory, then do it. If it cannot, then don't. It's, it, it, but you ought to make sure that you live your life in a way that benefits others around you. Give none offense, neither to the Jews, nor to the Gentiles, nor to the church of God. Even as I please all men in all things, seeking not my own profit, but the profit of many, that they may be saved. And so he says, whatever you do, do it for the aim and the goal that others may come to know Christ. And if you're doing it 
for any other reason, it's wrong. Any other reason, it's wrong. It's of the flesh, it's of the world, it's of the devil, and it will put you in opposition to the glorious gift of the bread of Christ and of the blood of Christ. And when we come together and do the Lord's Supper, which he's fixing to talk about here, <laughs> he says, this is a very serious issue, and I need you to grasp a hold of this reality that you are to live your life not for the benefit of you, but for the benefit of others. So go forth today mightily in the name of your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and be encouraged to live for Jesus.